If you are planning to study for GATE through self-study, then there are a few things to keep in mind. So we will talk about that in this video. So if you see here, we can divide this preparation into resources and planning like time is an important factor, but you can include that in planning itself. Now resources, if you're trying to do self-study, then this part is extremely important. Like if you have decided to prepare and you are directly jumping into the preparation, then that will not be helpful because you will get stuck and you will get stuck multiple times. So understanding the importance of resources and keeping right resources even before you start your preparation is extremely important. Now in resources, you can say the syllabus itself I mean, it starts from here, the syllabus for the exam for gate, you can download from the official website or just by searching on Google, you will find it. Then next comes the weightage. So even though there are about some 13, 14 topics in the exam, not all of them are equal weight. So you need to understand this weightage. Like I have told multiple times that maths aptitude, if you are preparing for civil, then there are some other subjects like soil, environment, all these are on very high weightage. So you need to understand this weightage and using that you need to plan the preparation. If you are spending too much time on the subjects that are consistently low weightage subjects, then you are missing out on a few marks that you can get easily. So understanding weightage is very important for that. Then in resources, the next thing like the source through which you will be studying the subject. So there can be books, you might be following some particular YouTube channel or it can be some study material that you bought or you are using your friend's material or you access the internet to get some material. All these can be there as a part of your study material or actually the sources through which you are studying the subject then there is the practice part so for practice you need to have a previous year questions booklet it will be better to have it in physical form and that too where it is divided topic wise so this has two aspects first one that when you are studying you will understand which topic has higher weightage which topic is repeatedly asked and also you will understand which are the subjects that are asked more often like the weightage part that I was telling you you will need to understand weightage for different subjects but with the help of previous year questions you can understand that how these questions are distributed and as soon as you finish a topic you can access these questions directly so it will save time if you are using some website or or pdf format then this part will be little more difficult for you then you might need some additional questions apart from previous year questions so for that you will need more questions so whatever source you are using for these practice questions this you need to figure out now other things if you talk talk about the planning so you can see the videos that i've posted recently how to prepare from march so there these things are discussed so i'm not going to repeat that part but as you are doing self-study then these parts what i'm mentioning in the resources this will play a very pivotal and important role in your preparation so first of all syllabus and weightage let's say you have figured out you have looked at the sources now in this part you are trying to decide which source to use for your actual understanding of the topic now as i mentioned you can be using books or some other channel study material so these are the various resources now among these if you are trying to use books to study for gate i would not recommend this this is probably a major mistake that I made in my preparation trying to study through books. There are multiple problems here that these books are not written for gate preparation. They are written for a particular subject. So they are not written in that manner and you 
you will be spending a lot of time in studying unnecessary topics or unnecessary information and you need to avoid that in your preparation so if you are using any youtube channel for that then make sure that you are understanding those topics from that channel and also if all the topics or all the subjects are available and for the subjects that are not available try to find out the resources for that also even before you start preparation you need to have these resources ready because as the time will go on you will have more frustration and it will be difficult to sort these things out later you may still need to change the sources or refer to various sources but to have a list in mind before you start preparation is very important now instead of books like i was telling not to use books instead of books you can use study material from whatever coaching you prefer i don't think it is very difficult to find even if you are not able to afford you can try asking your seniors or you can try looking on internet and you should be able to find some study material now this study material also you may find that you are not able to solve everything or you are not able to understand everything now for those specific problems you can refer to books if you need to do that so books are useful in that manner like you are getting stuck at a particular topic or at a particular sub topic so that you can refer from a good book and that will be helpful but reading directly through the books is not helpful now for practice as i mentioned that previous year questions these are your primary sources these should be your primary sources for practice and only if you have done this part you should be looking for any other sources so other sources it can be other exams like if you are preparing for gate then ese preliminary exam questions are good to prepare i mean for further practice and if you are writing ese also then it will be beneficial in that as well so you can use and i don't think you will have any problem with the number of questions here you will find a lot of questions and you may not be able to even finish these so this should be enough apart from that you will also need to join a test series at least this is something you cannot uh, do on your own if, even if you are doing self study so whatever whatever institute you find reasonable you can try and join their test series and make giving test as a part of your learning test series is not something you will only appear in next january just one month before exam or in next december as soon as you finish a subject you need to give these tests so try to do that like don't try to think that if you are scoring less or if you are not understanding things you should not give test series that is not the case even if you are understanding less it is better to get habitual in writing these test series then there are two more aspects that i would like to discuss here that is notes and revision so a lot of students waste too much time in writing these notes and thinking that this is how they will be learning the topic so this is also not desirable because you will have very limited energy even if you are planning to study for some 10 hours or 8 hours a day you will not have very high energy for all that time so you need to prioritize on your energy so when you have high energy and at that time if you are trying to write down notes then that is the waste of energy and these notes you need to write so that you can quickly go through a topic these are not your primary sources for learning these are for quickly going through a topic not i would not even say like for revision entirely revision you need to do with the help of solving questions because i have told earlier also in the exam you are supposed to solve questions obviously you need to understand the concepts deeply before i can say solving questions or anything but sometimes better understanding of concept itself comes by solving questions so you need to prioritize this solve questions 
give test these are your primary sources for learning yes there will be a lot of frustration you will get stuck but this frustration these problems that you will be facing will actually help you to improve on that particular concept or on that particular topic so for revision your strategy should be to attempt question or attempt some tests and once you understand there are few topics or there are certain topics that you find difficult so you can go through your notes or you can go through whatever study material you are using or videos whatever then using that you can further understand that topic but in the name of revision if you keep rereading the material then that will not be helpful now there are a few problems that i would like to mention for anyone who is trying to do self study so these are the common problems that student face like not knowing if you are on the right path if you are doing self study then you may be lacking on the feedback here feedback is needed so that can be a problem then getting stuck so not in just question like in understanding a topic you might be getting in something that is not written in any book or not written in any study material so something like that can happen i mean it often happens also then spending time on unnecessary topics so the solution for this part is that whatever i have told initially that you need to first understand the weightage of different topics and and accordingly give time to that topic then there is looking for perfection so you are studying anything for the first time or i would say even second time and you think that you should understand everything perfectly so that generally does not happen your understanding comes by repetition and it takes some time so don't look for this perfection and keep studying a single topic you can understand this if you are solving this previous year questions and if you are able to do about 60% of the questions then you can definitely move on from that topic and improve upon this in your next cycle or in your next revision so focus on improving in the revision part and without revision you will not be able to remember all these topics so give importance to that and only over time you will be reaching somewhere close to this perfection then these two problems that not knowing if you are on the right path and getting stuck so for this for checking if you are on right path you need to plan beforehand whatever you are studying you need to understand the time that is available to you let's say there are some 200 days when you are starting your preparation then in that you may be spending some time with some college work or you may have some other responsibilities it often happens for those who are thinking of studying full time just for gate preparation some problems can come so whatever time you are thinking you have available i would say you can easily deduct one one and a half month from that like if you are thinking you have 240 days then only keep in mind you will have about 180 days or at max 200 days so some problems can come which you cannot account for so here itself try to reduce that time and whatever time is available use that so planning plays an important role in figuring out if you are on the right path now for the second part of getting stuck so for getting stuck i would say i mean you can take the help of your friends or if you have some specific resource book or study material or videos that can help you you can try that but sometimes just leaving the problem at that moment is a helpful thing like you might be trying to solve this particular question and you have spent some one hour two hour or an entire day in solving that then it is likely that you will not get the right solution at that moment it is beneficial to leave this problem for some time and only later come back to it you will have a new perspective and that can help you so to avoid this problem whenever you are solving questions you can set a timer or keep some time in mind like i will not spend more than 
15 minutes on a question or even if it is a bigger question or good question i will not spend more than 40 minutes timing some basic time you will need to keep in mind and try to follow that even by doing all these things it will not be a very smooth process you will still get frustrated you will have problems with motivation but starting small whatever minimum time you can give to your preparation daily and being consistent these are the two key things that can take you a long way more than whatever you have imagined because most of the gate students have problem with that they will not be able to study consistently whoever is thinking of six hours eight hours if they just plan to study one hour per day for the remaining year or for whatever duration you are planning to do it will be more beneficial than to have these bigger ideas in your head and failing on a daily basis so keep this basic requirement low so that even on your worst day you can study whatever you are planning to do so these are the kind of problems that generally students face and apart from that if you have any other specific problem you can ask us in comment and i would try to help you and if you are interested i mean a lot of these things you have to do on your own but few of these things we can definitely help you with like getting stuck if you have the access to our course we can provide solutions we can help you in understanding a particular concept so so having some course and structured course helps helps in that way and you may save some important time because even if you are thinking you have a lot of time your energy will always be limited and you have to optimize on your energy as well so if you are thinking of taking some course like you can do all that on your own also but at some point if you think you need then you can check out our website and check out our courses and you can always reach out to us and we'll try to help you with that.